Thank you very much once and again for being here, Mrs. Karamudin, and we would like, we were delighted to have you here. We would like to ask you some questions uh, about your speech. So, how in your opinion does cultural exchange contribute to the development and the regional stability? I think cultural uh, uh, practices and cultural habits of different uh, nations and all this is definitely play a, a, a major role in uh, uh, establishing stability around the world, you know? Yeah, because uh, as we go along, um, uh, people tend to have their own ways, their own style, and their own means, and their own interests, most of all. So that's why we had these conflicts when people are not able to understand uh, each other and uh, they impose their values on others uh, and then uh, causing um, uh, uh, um, causing uneasiness and uh, 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 conflicts and disputes uh, that's why it will bring to this uh, instability uh, within uh, the community and within the country within the, uh, the global world and wherever uh, they interact mm. okay. Interesting. how can religion be linked to cultural diplomacy and how, how does it? How, con how can religion huh? uh, be linked to cultural diplomacy? Yeah, okay. And how can it contribute to peace? Okay. Religion definitely plays an essence part, uh, you know, in one's life. Okay. Of course, uh, religion, especially Islam and all the other religions as well, uh, promotes, advocates uh, good uh, practices, uh, good teachings, as in justice uh, and all this. You know. So therefore, if you are, you have that um, essence of a religion or belief or the knowledge of the true religion, whichever, whatever religion you are, so I'm sure this will reflect in your daily life, yeah? How you carry yourself, how you interact with others, because with that virtue in you that you are uh, God-fearing, you know? You are uh, uh, making sure that you, uh, for me as, as a Muslim, I want to make, to, to, to make sure that I'm a good Muslim. So therefore, by being a good Muslim or being a good Christian or being a good Buddhist or whatever, uh, uh, you have to uh, show, exemplify, uh, example, uh, examples of uh, good behavior. And this will definitely reduce tensions, reduce conflicts, reduce con uh, disputes. Therefore, you know, uh, you, won't, you, you will have a better understanding of each other. Uh, then this promotes uh, uh, diplomacy uh, uh, in the uh, cultural, uh, in the different cultures, and then uh, different understanding, and so that uh, you can understand each other. And then uh, you don't have to uh, work, uh, you don't have to live uh, on conflicts and disputes. Of course, and taking into account these noble deeds and beliefs yeah, you yeah. share, what were actually your motivations when entering national politics? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's a good one. Because um, uh, when before I entered uh, into politics, I was a uh, corporate, uh, coming from the corporate, corporate sector. Uh, then uh, along the way, uh, I felt that I have to make things right in my country. Yeah, because uh, the beliefs has been uh, uh, practices and translate into uh, the traditions is taking uh, a more uh, uh, dominant role. Uh, than the true teachings of Islam itself. Mm. So the tradition does not uh, reflect the right values of Islam. The tradition does not reflect the right teachings of Islam. So this, is, this has to be corrected, otherwise it might go uh, uh, diversion, there's a diversion and it will not, uh, uh, the country will not be safe uh, from these uh, uh, religious conflicts and, and so on and so forth. As a representative of your constituency and of culture and religion in Malaysia, uh -uh. what advice would you give to young leaders around mm. the world today? Uh -uh. Yeah, just now I wanted to mention in my speech also because I know there were many young ones there and I really hope you young ones with this exposure of uh, dialogues and uh, forums will make you all better leaders to bring peace and harmony uh, to the world in future. You know, So we really hope that this will become your your focus uh, when you uh, uh, take over the world you know, from us. <laughs> uh, so therefore, you know, uh, you can uh, start young and therefore uh, uh, bring it down to the people if you become a politician, whatever you are. Yeah? So we have to uh, carry on this uh, 
uh, good deeds and uh, good uh, good uh, examples so that uh, the world would be a better place to, to stay and I hope during our times there's less wars and less conflicts. So thank you very much, Uli. Really. Thank you very much for this very wise words of yours yeah. and of uh, the advisory. And hope you will enjoy the rest yeah, yeah. of the symposium. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Christian. All the best. All the best. Uh, yeah. Thank you.